Yeah, absolutely. My main goal right now is to, to get to college, to Division I school, hopefully. I would love to, you know, get the opportunity to be in the position where I'm that good that I can actually join the league. They are your average NBA players, then there's tall, and then tall, and then there's him. Yes, seven foot eight. Robert Brabowski is 20 years old now. He was the tallest high school basketball player. He was too small for the NBA, and now he's in college. So what's up with him? What is up, dudes? So that's Ballers Players. It's your boy MJ. If you've been on my channel for a while, you've heard of the Stick Man. But if not, here's what you've missed. Robert Robowski is from Romania and when he was 12, he looked like this. He was 7'1". Man's, sorry, boy was taller than 99% of the human race at 12. He went viral off these clips of him playing at Salazura in Italy at the age of 15. And as you can see, he looked awkward AF. He still showed some talent, making some mid ranges, making some jump shots, some hooks, and then he grew to 7'7 and went to Spire Institute in order to get world class facilities. It cost $55,000 a year to go there, but he was on a scholarship. This is also where Lamella would play his senior year, and so yeah, these two would be teammates, but never actually played together. See, Robert was only 180 pounds. Yeah. Stick man. Even after a year of training eating a 5,000 calorie diet, he only went to 190 pounds. It's something, but that makes him a stick again. He was also working on his 3 point shot heavy. Your comments in that video were wildin bruh. Alright, hit the subscribe button if you want to get taller, streaming tonight, one hot take go. Now since then, Robert hasn't played because of a back surgery, so he missed his senior year. I haven't been able to find the details of his back surgery, why he had to do it, an actual timetable for return, but I'm assuming it was to fix his scoliosis, which is an irregular curve in the spine, so it may have been a back fusion surgery using screws and rods. After the surgery, he actually got taller after the surgery to 7 foot. 8. Rob Bob a cheat code. Okay, maybe not. Now he's signed to Rochester University, which is part of the National Association for Intercollegiate Athletics, so basically he ain't even the NCAA. At least he got the offer, which is huge because he wasn't getting recruited back then, and now he's in college. This lets Rob at least continue to develop and continue his dreams to be in the NBA because he really needs that time. But this is a long shot, and I ain't opposed to long shots. Take for example Porzingis when he came into the league. He was 240 pounds and considered way too skinny. Robert's last known weight is supposedly 225 pounds. There's inconsistencies between 220 and 225 pounds. That's what it was a year and a half ago and we just haven't got any updates on the weight so let's just say he's 225 and he put on mostly muscle that puts him at a body mass index of 18.7. Porzingis in his rookie season had a BMI of 22.3. Now usually athletes have lower BMIs because they don't really have fat but they're purely muscle but even then too low is not good. Taco Fall in his freshman year of college was 280 pounds which is a BMI of 24.3. If you project and say that Rob Bob's gone to even 260 pounds he's still at 20.8 which is extremely low. Part of the whole being tall thing is also having the right amount of weight to be able to stay on the court and not get pushed around. Too much and your knees can't take it. We've seen it with big men before. Too little and you don't have a good center of gravity and so pretty much everyone is pushing you off your spot. If you're slow and you're light, that just ain't cutting it. Imagine Zion, Giannis, heck even Damian Lillard would be enough to move Rob and break him. And I haven't even gotten to Rob's actual basketball skill yet. Maybe if Robert was this insanely skilled big man, just maybe we could overlook him being physically too small, but we can't because we haven't seen this man's skill beyond these shooting drills. I ain't even seen him put the ball on the floor, power dribble, shut up, all I seen is the neck. That is one strong neck, man. I mean, Taco Fall had difficulties getting into the NBA, and that man played in a D1 school, showed dominance in high school, but almost got passed on. The one thing we just normally don't talk about Rob Bob is his age. He is 20 and a half years old. We've seen taller players end up getting to the NBA later around the age of 23, like a Taco Fall, Manute Bowl, Simbular. Okay, yeah, that, uh, 
that didn't that didn't work out. But we've also seen players dropped at 20 like Porzingis and Bobo. That means there is a possible timetable for Robob to make the NBA, but like I said, long shot. The whole point of Spire was that Robert would become internally strong, but because of his surgery, he hasn't gotten to take full advantage and actually had to do unconventional methods of training, which is already hard because they were already doing unconventional methods of training because of his height. But while it's great that Rob hasn't had any leg injuries, the fact that he's saying that he has discomfort in his knees ain't a good sign either. He's barely played and he's already had to get back surgery. These are all things that are associated with really tall players, but because he didn't play we have no idea for his field for the game and let's be honest we've seen tall players be lacking rochester university isn't the final goal for robert it may just be a way to showcase his abilities and still get a college training staff but i still think it's more realistic for robert to possibly play pro basketball not necessarily in the euro league yet maybe in the romanian league just not in the nba i want to see him get to the nba he seems like a cool dude who is humble and really a likable dude he wants to play basketball professionally wherever he can it'll take him a few years and as height there's just no way that some random team isn't like screw it man let's just try him out hopefully in the future i'm talking about him making the jump to the ncaa because he has four years to show what he's got but what do you think who's your favorite tall player ever streaming tonight one hot take go it's gonna be fun shout out to my girl samhita for being first a bona fide Warriors fan. Thanks for the all-day support. If you like the vid, hit the like button. It really helps out. Subscribe if you're new or you've been watching for a minute. It's your boy MJ. We out and we vibing.